Okay, there is a... Oh, my God. I think there's a... Whoa! Holy crap. Yes, there is. There is a giant hornet, wasp, or whatever wasp that is just flying around in my bed. Oh, my God. I uh, hate wasps! Oh, I gotta get it down. I, 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 I've, I, I've gotta, I've gotta get it. I gotta, I gotta get it, but I don't want to get stained. <sighs> oh my God. Ah! And this. I'll get this, um, this, like, gorilla's foot. <laughs> I'm sure it will become attracted to it. Hey, giant wasp, mate with this. Mate with this. Come on, go away, go away, go away, go away, go, shoot, 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 off, off, no, 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 please, what, oh, you better, you better not sting Applejack, you better not sting Applejack, get away from Applejack, ah! This way so that we may discuss your concerns. I knew you'd come to your senses. No. <laughs> <laughs> Cermic Biggins meets Skelenor. She's a level 18 bone warrior in Squizzard. Skelenor? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Did they take a Skelenor reference from me, man? I need to get her hair back here. You're here together. Nothing can ever take that away from you. Phillies and Jericholes, bronies and Pegasisters of all ages, welcome. To the finale season of My Little Pony. Do you know you're all my very best friends? Ah, uh, <laughs> Woo! Let me just adjust the camera. Perfect. All right. Two hundred episodes my little pony wow 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 what an achievement what an achievement to reach that on the last last season of my little pony what's up everybody or every pony i should say let me crack this open oh Hey! Happy 200th day, every, every pony. <laughs> Happy 200th day. So, today we are going to be reacting to officially the 200th episode of My Little Pony. 200 episodes it's been. For the past nine years. Nine years. Whew. Okay. So. Um, yeah, I'll recap what happened in, in the last episode without having a nutshell video once again. Um, it. Um, so. We have the Young Six, as they are called now, the Young Six, the Young Six students, um, have, um, 
have been assigned on a mission to um, to fix, I guess, to uh, fix the tree, as to say, fix the tree, and then, um, well, uh, I think, uh, who was it that, I think it was Sambar, Sambar was the one that, um, that like, took away the tree parts and then just hid it somewhere that nobody else or any other creature could see them. Uh, and my hair is absolutely... <laughs> I need to brush that aside. Um, so, they haven't found any traces of the piece where they were until... Um, well, I think it was Silverstream. I think it was Silverstream that founded them. And, um, it, and it ended up being destroyed again, I think. And then in... Um, in a song which um, I did a cover of, by the way, in the uh, the place where we belong, featuring uh, Lily Spot, as um, I'm speaking now, this recording will come out uh, later. But that recording had come out first, so if you want to go and see that cover for yourself, I will leave that below in the description for you guys to check out. Um. And yeah, um, after that, the Tree of Harmony rebuilded itself into a whole new tree. A whole new Tree of Harmony, which has a door. It, it, you can actually go in the Tree of Harmony and browse around, like, different rooms. If there is rooms inside the Tree of Harmony. So... Yeah, but unfortunately, we didn't manage to see any indication of what the inside of the Tree of Harmony looks like. So, throughout Season 9, I want to see what the Tree of Harmony looks on the inside. I, do, I really, really, really want to see what it looks like on the inside of that tree. But, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, with all that being said, we are now in Season 9, Episode 4. Um, I'm not sure what the episode is called. I didn't really get the chance to look at it for what it's called, but it will show up um, past, the, past the intro of Mother Pony and such. So... Without any further ado, let's begin Season 9, Episode 4, and the 200th episode of My Little Pony. Cheers, guys. Let's start this 200th episode in 3, 2, 1, go. Hit it. Twi Twilight 7. Okay. Starting... When's it starting? There's just a long pause. It's like flashing. <laughs> Why isn't it coming on? Why isn't it coming on? <laughs> um, hello? I'm gonna have to try that again. Okay, everypony, I am glad to tell you that I have found um, a link on uh, Microsoft Edge on Xbox. Um, of a link that is uh, playable. So, without any further ado, let's begin this in three, two, one, go. All right. Keep 
friendly, our parents gave us gold stars every time we did something special. Sharing. Getting good grades. Even telling a really funny joke. And at the end of each week, we'd add up the stars. The sibling with the most would win the crown of the sibling supreme. And bragging rights. Till next time. Guess that explains your love of charts and so much else. I always wanted to be sibling supreme one day. Meet me at Celestia's castle to decide who deserves the crown once and for all. Wish you there! there. Well, I guess it's time for another annual of Who's the Best Sibling Out of All? And this is the 200th episode. Who's the best sibling out of Twilight and Shining? Okay. <laughs> I guess it's sweet. <laughs> All right. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, look at him! Wearing it? Look, I look at him gloat. Grudge because I left home with this. Grudge? What grudge? Just because you've had it for way longer than you should have and I never got a chance to win it back. With the return of Sombra, Princess Luna and I felt it was time to reinforce the castle's defenses. I... Oh, wow, so the story by all the main six's so I, character the names of the guard to handle the job. have did the story for this. Wow. You're to a whole new level. The only thing I need now is some pony to test it. Tabitha. You want me to break into some castle? Tara. If you pass my defenses, steal the crown, and get out. You'll be sibling supreme wow. forever. Ashley and forever. Ashley and um. But if you fail, I keep the crown. Deal. Wait, are you sure this counts? Mom and Dad aren't giving us any stars. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. To... Andre, Andre, You're Andre, Andre. If there are any holes in our Andre. Security. And there are. <laughs> I just made a little horse noise. Triple backed up line of defense. The castle is surrounded by shards of Queen Chrysalis's throne. Thanks to Star Swirl, its anti magic powers are now tuned to stop any creature from using a spell to get inside. You can't fly in either. Giant fans keep any creature from flying too close to the castle. Yeah. Plus, the entrances to the tunnels below the castle have been sealed, so there's no underground access. Okay. And even if you could get in, which you can't, I've doubled the ranks of security. Police protect every hallway and door, which can only be opened with Royal Guard medals. Even if you brought an army, the throne room is the safest spot in Equestria. I rigged a floor trap to activate at the slightest touch. But say you avoid the floor, still no luck, because I've employed nature's alarm system. Geese, you can hear their honks all the way in Ponyville. Plus they bite. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Calculations. That's a barrel and a half of obstacles, plus a bushel and a peck of impenetrability. And all of this is to win some pretty good competition with your brother? It's more than that. Okay, it's exactly that. Yeah. And to protect Celestia's castle. If it means that much to you, Twilight, we're in. Twilight is already in! Come on, who doesn't want to hang? Let's see! Okay. 200 episode! But how? Shining Armor may have come up with some great security, but he'll never guess Twilight's plan. We play to our strengths and defeat all of the security measures. That way, if one of us fails, the others will still have a shot at getting the crown. Pinky, you'll distract the guards at the surprise party. Yes, sir! Twilight, sir! Applejack, you'll buck your way into the sealed tunnels. 
Rainbow Dash, if any pony can outfly those wind turbines, it's you. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. You'll sew us guard costumes so we can sneak past security. Then Fluttershy will be the What? by charming the geese. <sighs> It's from Shining Armor. Did I just say that right? Rare is he's going to dress up as a guard. Just... your whole plan. What? E party rarity costumes signed the future sibling supreme? Oh, come on. All right, darling. No pony knows you better than your own brother. So you're saying I should give up? I'm saying your brother will win. No matter how brilliant your plan is, no matter how many variations you try, it will be something your brother expects, and you'll always win, unless... Unless? When the perfect chance comes along, you do something he can't expect. Then you'll win. You've been practicing that speech, haven't you? A little bit. It's not like I rushed. Did I rush it? Absolutely not. Oh, no. of what Shining Armor expects. Therefore, Twilight cannot maximize the plan, but I can! Oh. That's definitely unexpected. Oh, Lord. Uh, how is you making a break in plan the opposite of Twilight doing it? Because my plan is for each of us to devise our own unexpected part of it. Allow me to demonstrate. Oh no, not this again. We're looking for a pony with information. She's back! <laughs> we got questions and you're gonna serve us up some answers, Juice Jackie. Well, Detective Rarity on the case! Shining armor sealed them all. There's no secret entrance. There's always a secret entrance! So make like a glass of OJ and spill! Animation, though. <laughs> How about something a little more down to earth? Like, I distract the guard boys with a farewell wow. performance by my alter ego, famous country western superstar, Apple Cole. That's a whole new style of animation. And why would she be giving a farewell performance? Well, it's a long story. Back on the farm, playing music was about making her family smile. Oh, look at little Remember Apple Taylor Bloom! <laughs> and soon, Apple Corn was playing real shows. The more she played, the bigger those shows got. But she missed playing for her family. So one day, she gave it all up. Her family smile was all she ever wanted from her music. Of course, Apple Cord could come out of retirement for a farewell concert this one time. Wait, did you just make all that up, or did that actually happen? Um, Doesn't matter. It's just <laughs> spot. Well, I guess the opposite of what I'm good at is being in small spaces. I oh, I thought you be a super spy. I thought you were actually going to say be assertive, though. I thought she was actually going to say be assertive. It's almost too easy. Uh, mission. Mission Impossible reference. Explosion without looking back. <laughs> that is the plan. You shall do nothing. <gasps> Shining armor definitely won't expect that. <laughs> oh, 
Applejack? What are you doing? Applejack? <laughs> Who's that? My name's Applecore, and I've got a couple of songs to play for you. Applecore. Right. You know them. And a one and a two and a... My love is like a barrel. Barrel full of hay. <laughs> Oh my god. Come on, Pinky! Going into space, right? <laughs> yeah, knowing Pinky, you cannot go along with it. Nope. Even when you have your own plans, she will you know. Totally make it a one way. Maybe Rarity's plan will work. What? what? Space Odyssey reference? Let's see, we play it one more time. And a one, and a two, and a. What? Distraction's a distraction. Okay, it is a distraction. Nice. Oh my god. Where's Spike and Fluttershy? Did they make it into the castle? They jumped out right before the balloon went. <laughs> That's all I can see without the Oh, Pinky! Get to go. Let's hope Rarity and Rainbow Dash had better luck. What's this? Closed! Oh, the Sandy Juice Joint is always closed around this time. Then how will we meant to shake down Nanduel for information? What sort of information do you need? Um, the location to a secret entrance to the passages under Candrelar Castle. You mean that one? Yes, thank you. That will do nicely. Thank you. But... Zephyr, breeze! Oh, hell no! <laughs> Not Zephyr, <laughs> breeze! <laughs> Not, oh, not Zephyr! He's totally obsessed with me, and we have to come up with a way to distract. Oh no! Oh no! No! No way! Uh uh. Oh my God! <laughs> Story makers and all that has produced this episode. I love you. I love you for what you did with this plot. I told the Sod that gold kind of clashes with my aura, but apparently they aren't big on input. Still, I totally managed to rock the look, don't you think? Yep. Real <laughs> guard material. I'm part of the castle team now, so I'm basically. Whoa, well, we got a spooner! It's good you're finally being honest with your feelings for me, Rainbows. <laughs> the truth is such a gift. Like, I have to follow my bliss to see guarding in my. The ship is like, so go, strong go, right go, now. Whoa, come over there! And I go, yes, and sometimes I just stand like this and look real cool, and I go down the. Kinda. Go, ow, 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 ow. Oh, Sepha. Wow. Good to see you again, after a couple years. We'll have to glide to the throne. No clapping. Sister, another false alarm from Shining Armory Guard Team. <laughs> Might be a giant clock. Oh dear. 
Oh, no. Gee, Fluttershy, I thought your whole small spaces thing was just part of the plan to be unexpected. Once I got trapped in the castle of the True Sisters, and Angel Buddy and I were separated. Now whenever I'm in a tiny room, it's all I can think about. I was so worried he felt alone and forgotten. Oh. I know what that's like. Well, what do you mean? I was always excited to be a part of Twilight's and Shining Armor's rivalry, like I was their little brother. But they never really thought of me that way. I know they both have a special oh. place in their heart for you. But sibling dynamics are hard, trust me. Right, Zephyr Breeze. Honestly, he can learn a lot from you about being a little brother. Oh, this is sweet! That was sweet! Between Fluttershy and Spike. I guess it's worth a try. Thanks, Spike. What are little brothers for? Okay. You all know what to do. <laughs> oh, oh. Twilight, you, you dick. <laughs> that was a dick move. <laughs> oh, my. God, he's actually dressed in the um, in armor as well. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. To be fair, it was never made specifically clear to me what guarding actually means. So this is on you. Shut up, Zephyr. I'm strong, Twilight, but not even I can bust through solid rock. That's why I grab specialists. MOD! <laughs> yes! Right there. A rock specialist, yes. Always ask Mod about rocks. Next shift, door on break. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that voice, Rarity. That voice. Hmm. Unexpected for you to do everything exactly how I thought you would. But you should know by now, there's no way to beat the true sibling supreme. I am sorry, Twilight, but it looks as though Shining Armor has truly won the crown. That's the thing about looks, they can be deceiving. Spike? Oh! oh God, did you do it? Come on, you two don't think you have the only sibling rivalry. I had an inside pony help. Princess Luna, I freaking love you. Luna, Luna, my bae. My bae. Once Luna was on board, 
I just had to do my part. And make sure we stuck to Twilight's plan so we'd all get to the throne room Best at the same princess. Time. I knew she Best. Best. would let it play out until the last possible second. Then, while everyone was distracted by its gloating, all Luna had to do was float the crown over to me. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> I uh, apologize for not listening to your concerns. <laughs> it seems we need the adjustments to account for threats inside the castle as well as out. If you agree, if you think it's worth discussing. Oh, Luna, I love so, you. So, if Twilight and Shining Armor failed, who gets the crown? <sighs> the true sibling supreme. It'll be Spike. Spike. Huh? The little brother we've always had. Oh, yay! Yeah. <laughs> that was it. Oh, that was sweet. 200 episode. 200 episode. Oh. Hey, hey. Sneaky, sneaking around. Going through. Oh, all right, DHX. <laughs> all sparks as well. Thanks for interrupting. Wow, that was the, all right, don't play. Wow, that was the 200th episode of My Little Pony. And um, it's, this was kind of a special episode, say, for the siblings of Twilight and Shining Armor. Spike as well being included as, as well since um, Twilight. Twilight raised uh, Spike as a little egg uh, when he hatched during um, during one of Celestia's classes, and um, they had uh, played games ever since. And yeah, but to me, the one thing that really hit that spot for me during that episode was that conversation then between Fluttershy and Spike. Because Fluttershy is also having issues as well with Seth and Breeze, um, with with the sis with the sister brother um, issues of having to deal with each other. And um, the same goes for Spike as well with uh, Twilight. So for them to have a conversation between their uh, their siblings is um, is uh, a really sweet moment, a really really sweet moment. And uh, what was the one thing that? Oh yeah, Pinky in space, <laughs> Pinky in space moment. Oh my lord! So you know that pony the anthology skit of. Um, of when Pinky did the voice of Space from a Paul 2 character. Um, I forgot whose name it was, but um, they actually did it. <laughs> they actually did it. Pinky went into space. Well, as a... As a... Um, as a diagram sort of animation thing. Um, Sepha as well being a god and rainbow dash being oh my god these two <laughs> these two oh my lordy <laughs> wow that <laughs> that must have felt pretty awkward to most fans it did felt it did felt awkward to me to see that scene again between these two, but it, but I was just like shit, shit, <laughs> kinda in a um, sort of um, a non like I didn't want it really to happen, but I'm like shit, <laughs> like I'm not fully confident about it or anything. Uh, what else happened during that episode? Hmm. Oh yeah. Um, Luna. 
Luna. Wait, one second. Luna, Luna, Luna. Come here. Come here, you. Come here. This princess. This princess. Oh, and I'm going to react to the part where she did... Um, where she did stroke the bird. <laughs> she stroke the bird. Uh, she was doing it like this, but I'm going to have to do it. Well, she was doing it like... Like that. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. Princess Luna being a total awesome princess that she is and her hair's in her eye. Being a totally awesome princess that she is. Um, totally blindsided both uh, Twilight and Shining Armor <laughs> just to pass the torch along over to the the yeah the less interested sibling out of the three of them and that is Spike so for him to get that recognition now within the crown um and uh, I'm not really trying to say that that Twilight and Shining are really less interested about Spike because they do care for him they do care, as well as the rest of the main six as well, including Rarity. Heck, even Spike falls for Rarity in the past, how many years? Uh, let's see, maybe, uh, maybe three or four years that he's been, like, clawed over hoof for, um, for Rarity. And, well... For him to get the recognition now with the crown, and I thought she was missing the wing then. <laughs> I was just like, what? <laughs> no, there's a the wing. There we go. Right there. That was the, oh, the, 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 yeah, this is a bit weird because, look, 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 look at the back here. Look at the back. Look. This wing is down. This wing right here that you see is floating up. Um, Is your wing broken or something, Luna? I think her wing is broken. I think I've hurt her doing the stroke. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Luna. <laughs> Anyways, I'll put her back. <clears throat> if I can. Oh, there's too many plushies. Oh, no. Uh-oh. 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 Um. I... Don't know if she's gonna stick there for too long. Look at this. <laughs> she's highly a. She's a bit taller now than most of the. She's she's supposed to be, like, on ground. But no, I just like put just put her there without adjusting her. <laughs> so. Yeah. So all in all, this was. A very special episode of My Little Pony, and for 200 episodes, for 200 episodes on this mark, on the final edition of um, My Little Pony, this felt good. This felt good to say. So, I love this episode, and I cannot wait for more. So, Thank you very much, everybody, for watching my reaction video to Season 9, Episode 4, which is Twilight 7. If you did enjoy my reaction video to this, then make sure to hit the like button down below. And if you are new to my channel want to check out more of my videos that include My Little Pony, then um, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for more update and content for when I upload my next video. I have a... What do I have? Yes, I have a Twitter page. It is at ElusiveAl21. I will leave that down below in the description. And as well, um, I will leave the uh, the song cover, like I mentioned in the start of the video, that I did with Lily Spot. Or um, she has a second channel, it's Kiki and Joe, which she collaborates as well with Kiki Bats. For, so for all you guys who do know Kiki Bat, um, their channel as well will be under the description as well. 
Um, so, yeah, I guess if you want to check them out, I'll make sure to leave them down below. Um, and, oh yeah, comment. Comment with all your thoughts and opinions and what you thought about this 200th episode of My Little Pony. And, with all that being said, please like, subscribe, comment, follow my Twitter, go check out... Go check out the cover for uh, the place where we belong, featuring me and Lily, um, in the description. And, yeah, all that. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.